Well, we're on the 118 freeway. You know, this is one of those freeways that usually moves very, very fast. This guy not moving so fast. Stolen vehicle, that's the one. That's the reason why they tried to pull this car over. So we understand it, California Highway Patrol has been behind it almost the entire time. At one point, believe it or not, that car moving pretty slow now on the 118 was actually at 100 miles an hour at one point in the Simi Valley area. We picked it up here as it was in the Porter Ranch area. We're working our way eastbound on the 118 freeway. Stolen vehicle, that's what they're saying. California Highway Patrol right behind it. A number of other vehicles are all California Highway Patrol basically just kind of rolling along behind them. We're still working our way eastbound. Going to be pretty much well established in the Granada Hills area. 405 freeway up ahead. No traffic. No traffic on the freeway at all this evening, but uh, a lot of California Highway Patrol and that one stolen vehicle they're following. You know, this time, just kind of getting overhead. We were trying to get some information, just, you know, gathering some of the little facts that we can up here uh, as we were getting closer to it. But we hadn't heard about the number of people inside the vehicle. Uh, the, we were concerned about the high speeds, but now going very, very slow. Uh, we actually even heard the California Highway Patrol talking about that moments ago, saying that they were going 65 or less on the freeway. But at one point, they were talking about speeds of over 100 miles an hour. Right now, though, just reading the sign, probably like everybody else, Woodley is our uh, what we're passing. Hasn't made any attempt to get off the freeway. Hasn't made any attempt to change any, any lanes. We're seeing that California Highway Patrol switching out vehicles. This could mean that they might try to do some sort of uh, pr uh, pursuit intervention, some kind of pit. Even on the freeway, does seem like he's starting to pull over to the right. That might mean an off-ramp. You might be uh, seeing some street actions out here. But right now, this vehicle just keeps on moving. California Highway Patrol right behind him. Stolen vehicle. That's the want. Picked it up or started out in the Simi Valley area. Right now, though, we're, we're, we're basically approaching the 405. But uh, this car keeps eluding the officers, keeps moving out here on the freeway. California Highway Patrol, they're not going to give this up. Well, we were talking about the California Highway Patrol. You know, they have divisions just like LAPD or the Sheriff's Department. It does look like he's getting off the freeway out here. I'm kind of familiar with this area. I would say that this is going to be the Laurel Canyon off-ramp. Uh, it looks like he's using his signal. So a uh, very courteous uh, person in a stolen vehicle this evening. Uh, California Highway Patrol, they're turning now onto Laurel Canyon. Uh, this, they're making that right turn. Uh, but they're going to still follow this vehicle. Now that they're on the streets, they might end if this vehicle keeps making these slower moves like this, they might actually try to do that pit maneuver or maybe even block them in. Uh, the, that, that pole in the shot, yeah, that's a running joke just somewhere inside the helicopter. But I, we did take a peek inside there when he was rolling up, and there does appear to be just the driver inside the car. We have been fooled in the past, but it does look like right now, officer has his, uh, the, the uh, suspect has their hands out. Officers have this vehicle surrounded. Why he picked here to stop we don't know but right now this pursuit coming to an end here at laurel on laurel canyon right off the 118 freeway
Yep, there he goes. There he is. He's out. He's just opened up the door. Dog here on scene, but that's probably if this guy decides to run. Doesn't look like he's going to do much running at all. Looks like he's basically just going to be given up right now. Got out of the car. Many times they'll go. What they'll do is they'll make the the driver throw the keys outside of the car. If this car stolen, he might not have any keys. Uh, so right now, though, the car did stop. This guy is doing what the officers are commanding. Why he picked this spot? Gosh only knows, right? But uh, you can see the number of officers out here in Pacoima, right here off of Laurel Canyon, right off the 118, now doing that walk, that backwards walk but to officers after he showed that he doesn't have a weapon. As soon as he gets close enough, they'll tell him to stop, and one of the officers from the California Highway Patrol will walk over there to greet this person and put those cuffs on him. Right now, though, it's still a few moments of tenseness, but uh, we didn't hear about any weapons, but we did hear that this vehicle possibly stolen and it started in the Simi Valley area now ending out here in Pacoima. Oh, definitely. You know, those dogs, they, they, they don't really reason too much. They just have that one thing in mind. They want to get that suspect. They've been trained to do that. And those dogs, they're not as friendly as the, uh, as the law enforcement officers, and unless only if you're a bad guy. If you're a good guy, I'm sure they're, uh, they're great animals. But you can see officers not playing around out here this evening. Everybody has their weapons drawn. Now they're taking that guy into custody. There go the cuffs. And like you said, we've watched it so many times in the past. They're going to clear that car. They're going to pop that trunk, see what he's got in the back seat there. Uh, and, until that's done, though, they're not going to say that this is over. But you can see right now much more relaxed positions for these officers. Weapons starting to be lowered. That suspect definitely now in custody. Thank you, Rick, if you're still there. Thank you, Rick. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder why he gave up. I wonder if the car gave up. Probably the car just did the... You don't think so? Hey, he ran out of gas. How are we fixed for fuel? Yeah, we need to go in. On scene time. 20. And if you guys are still with us on the web, hey, you know, uh, I, we, we, don't, we don't make them. We just follow them and we just watch them. Uh, this one was kind of a slow speed deal. It had, like, they were talking some crazy speeds earlier on. Uh, we were trying to listen to it. We're trying to get to it. There's a lot of weather out here in the Southern California area. I know the I know the joke. Everybody knows the joke. What weather in Southern California? What it What was it? Hot or dry? Uh, we actually do get clouds every now and then out here. And uh, today we have fog and low clouds, and it makes it. Uh, too dangerous. Let's just leave it at that to get through the pass areas if you're not from the area. So, that's our desk, uh, our lovely desk calling us right there, uh, talking to us. That's going to be Chatsworth and, and it's going to be uh, Laurel Canyon, right? It's Laurel Canyon and Chatsworth, right? <coughs> I think that's Laurel Canyon and Chatsworth, brother. Laurel Canyon and Chatsworth. <coughs> Oh, you know what? You are 100% right. You are 100% right. And you know what? I got to. If you were still on the web, I got to give a give a shout out right now. Uh, there's a uh, there's a little tavern over here called Paul's. And if you're ever uh, if if you're ever in the area, you might want to check out Paul's right there. Uh, it's it, it, I'll just call it like it is. It's a dive bar, but it's a nice dive bar. And uh, if you uh, if you mention my name, 
you, you, you might get a you might get a, a free drink. But at any rate, uh, there we go. This is going to be the corner of the corner of Sepulveda. You are a hundred percent correct, Sepulveda and Chatsworth, brother. <clears throat> and uh, wow, you know sometimes that's the deal. You're you're looking through that that I was just looking at that camera. And now they're telling me that I got to say goodbye to you guys. And uh, like I said, Paul's Tavern, big shout out. I don't think anybody in there is watching us on the uh, on the web. But uh, anyway, huge shout out. And we're leaving. We're out of here. Hopefully, we'll get a better one next time. Looks like the car did poop out because they can't get they can't uh, move it. So anyway, guys, thanks for the watch. Thanks for the view. Love the love. Talk to y'all soon.